All right, we're gonna try and uh, well, let's see how how just killing one of these guys goes, because there's probably like forty thousand of them on the way to Smelter Demon. So they are fire resistant. Oh boy. I'm trying to think of a way I can do this without. Uh, Have to fight any of them. Fencer Sharon, I am not fighting Fencer Sharon. I'm gonna run by her. I just need, I need to kill this guy because I need to get this door open. Once the door's open, I think I can just run by him. But would it be okay to power stance it? Yeah. So so it depends on the weapon. Um. Like, let's say we're doing the Black Steel Katana, which I think is the katana these guys have. I would just do one because I'd do like a cosplay run. But if it's a weapon that no one really uses in the game, like, I, I just power stance it. Like, the ladles. No one's using ladles. I actually thought about it. Like, I thought about the housekeepers, if you could do, like, that. But you can't, so... But, like, when I did Velstat's hammer, I just did one. I didn't power stance it. And I used Velstat's armor. Ow. But I don't think anything uses a whip, so I would, I would power stance them. First, I gotta get this stupid key. I'm probably gonna die right here, because I always died in this fire. Oh, I lived. Eh, not for long. So I gotta think about how the hell to do this part, because it's, it's gonna be really messy. It's gonna be a lot of running around. Also, so I'm gonna change the way I am doing the requests. I'll still do first time requests like as the next run, but everything else is gonna be like a lottery system. I got a I got a method for it now. But the more you request things, like the less chance you'll have to show up. So basically, the fewer requests you have, the more likely you are to see your weapon next. I don't need this for anything. I don't know why I picked it up. Alright, so let's just run around and see if we can make something happen here. Maybe we, you know what? We might even just have enough poise to like walk through, but I'm gonna have to probably go around because these guys are right on top of me. Yeah. We might have enough poise to just like tank whatever is coming and just go through the fog gate. I didn't even think about that. There is a chance, yeah. A very small chance, though. I think right now you have like a 1% chance to... <laughs> something like that, to have your weapons, uh... Like any one of your weapons be picked. But it'll get better as long as, like, no new... You know, well, it's not gonna happen. Obviously new people are gonna come in, but... But there's a chance, you know? It's better than zero. And the chance is always going to be different depending on how many requests there are. How many people have requests, so... But the general idea is the more requests you have, the less chance you, your weapon shows up. The lower the chance. Alright, let's just run to the door. Go in. Oh! I need flasks right now. Hello, camera. 19, oh boy. I mean, that's pretty much what it was, like, in New Game. I should definitely do like dark magic weapon and or whatever it is, dark weapon and not crystal magic weapon. I need more casts, that's what I need.
Maybe we can get Smelter's armor after this, which is good for uh, not taking fire damage. At least we get a banger soundtrack, though. button. I hit Y for some reason. Don't hit me. Oh. so rough. At least we know we can run to the fog gate, though. That's pretty sick. This is definitely one of the bosses I was worried about, too. So... Hopefully we can just get through this. a while. And it's gone. Every time I say it lasts a while, it's like it just dies. Oh, I want to cast. Like this doubles my damage dark weapon. From 20 to 40. Oh, the lag. The hell was that? Old Iron King will probably take an hour. Yeah, it might be a while. I think the dark magic's gone. Yeah, dark weapon. We still have, uh... Sunlight Blade. I don't think that lasts very long. Though. 
I could have put another one on too, because I think I got that fourth attunement slot. I could have done resonant weapon instead of uh, crystal magic weapon. I really should just take whatever gives me the most casts because I think that'd probably be better. Because like how much is magic weapon versus crystal magic weapon? Like how much will crystal magic weapon add over magic weapon? Probably not much. I definitely thought I would need more life gems for this, too. Oops. That was a super late roll. This has me feeling a lot better about Blue Smelter Demon, though. I don't think there's a huge health difference between these two. Yeah, I gotta buff this. Buff, please. I got one sunlight blade, okay. Something. I gotta go grab the DLC key two after this. Down to 20 again. Nope, still, still buffed. Somehow. Helium Lice, Pilgrim Spontane Sphere, Bone Fist, Ooh. Forlorn Cosplay, Sword of Sight, Spotted Whip, Sanctum and Repeating Crossbow. We got time. I'm gonna be streaming for like another, wait, four hours. Back to 20. Wrong button. I need to buff this. I need you to do something good that I can use. To Guy looks like he'd be weak to fire. Yeah, something like that. I mean, they do say fight fire with fire, right? Gotta be a reason for that. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Is that power stancing? I can't even tell. Did not have much damage. Okay, never mind it did. You know, it's not as good as like the dark weapon, but it's chill, chill smelted even.
I did one crossbow in PvE. And it was pretty rough. Not gonna lie. What's this weapon class? This one is a uh, hammer. Bus, but we're almost done anyways, so. Here, one more time, hopefully. No, I've never done a Forlorn cosplay. I haven't done either Forlorn weapon. I've always wondered what the best way to even do that one is, because I don't know how, like, you would guarantee... F I know Forlorn spawns a lot. But I don't know if there's a way to for force the Forlorn spawn. Or if you just have to, like, kind of keep warping into a map somewhere. There we go. Good night, Smelter Demon. Elizabeth Cosplay, you talking about the mushroom? <laughs> what if I could? I don't even know what Elizabeth would use. Actually, wait, hang on. We can do uh, one more thing here. Let's take off Sunlight Blade for now, and I might do... Actually, you know what? I'm probably just going to do this. Magic Weapon, and take that off. Sacred Oath is three slots. Damn it. That fight, I didn't think it was too bad. The damage was pretty rough, but... So wait till we hit DLCs. It's going to be... Like, DLCs are going to be entire like another beast entirely Seralon yeah Seralon I'm kind of worried I'm gonna get kicked out too like I did giant lord I didn't think if you were fighting then you could get kicked out of the memories like I had no idea thought as long as you were fighting the boss you were good so but I don't know I don't know if there's a time limit on Alon. There's a five minute timer on Giant Lord, at least in New Game. I don't know if it's the same in New Game Plus or not. All right, Um. so I guess we'll go back here. We'll try to get to Old Iron King. Should get Seralon Seppuku? No, I'm good. I'm good. you be here forever trying to do that. I did it on the Wrathful Axe run. And I've been close on so many runs, but I get greedy near the end and try and just kill him. Alright, so this part... I hate, for the record. But... For crafty, maybe we can do it. Or, you know, maybe we just fall. This was a struggle in New Game. I was, like, doing all sorts of things. I was trying to, like, knock the platforms down and... I was, I, I, eventually I just, like, got all the guys to burn in the fire. I think Fume Knight's harder than Alon. Probably. I, I think so. I think Fume Knight hits harder. And it's Forlorn. I don't know, that's, that's not gonna be anything. This guy I can probably kill a bunch of times, just from, uh... But yeah, this is not fun. I think one of them died. I want to sit right here and let these guys just burn in the fire. 
And this is pretty much my plan to kill a bunch of them. And this is how we're going to end up despawning them. Okay, I don't think any of them died. Actually, yeah, okay. We can do that. I can jump over to it, though, instead of walking all the way around to it. Welcome to the next, like, 20 minutes. The run is for Lord will be in New Game Plus. Yeah, so I have to get everything in New Game, but then we'll do the whole thing in New Game Plus. Really? Because that's the whole idea, right? You can't really do all bosses with every weapon in New Game, because some weapons you don't get until, like, the end of New Game. So I just do it all in New Game Plus. But I have to get, like, the Scythe or the Sword in New Game. Yeah. Yeah, I think you just have to kill for one, like, five times, and then... then you're good. Buy him from Strayed. How the hell, like, where do you have to jump here to do this? Here? Maybe jump. Maybe you can't do it in this armor. Or, like, maybe I'm too heavy. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. Butterfly pants? How do you get the butterfly armor? Is it from Mollen? Do you need to do some... I think you need a... There's like a requirement though, isn't there, for it? Well, at the very least, we'll despawn this captain. Yeah, I don't think I need the butterfly. I just think I'm like too heavy for it though. That's the thing. I don't... I don't know. Because I'm not even close. As a baby jump? I think every one of them has been like that, though. This guy, like, hits you and then... Oh, well, that's not... I can't even get a running start there. Yeah, we're gonna do it this way, then. Just kill whoever you can, please. Or, or just kill me, that's fine, I guess. Uh... At least the captain's dying every time. I don't think these guys dying here counts, either. Need to be full hollow for the damage, yeah. I remember that being a thing too. The Ring of Bind encounters it, which is good. Off jumping, yeah, for real. Boom. Two down. Oh, I gotta hit the thing. I forgot the switch. See, like, I think... I, I don't know, man. Like, it doesn't feel like it's working with this armor. Because I've done this jump a lot. Or not a lot, but, like, I've done it enough where, like, it, it wouldn't be this consistently bad. Maybe it's the ladles. The ladles are too much to handle. Oh, dude, chill out. I 
I need these guys to come over here. If I can just get like a handful of them, I don't even care. It's better than nothing. Ah, you guys, too, too far forward. This is by far the most brutal part of Iron Keep. Not even close. Well, actually, you know, now that I think about it, we can skip this fog gate. Hmm, I have another idea. It's probably not gonna work, though. I need to get this lever. I'm probably gonna die trying to get it. These guys don't climb ladders, so they're stuck down here. And then the only thing I have to worry about on the other side are like two Alon Knights. Oh my God, I forgot about these guys. But I'm probably gonna die going up this. All right. Do I effigy here? Like, I feel like I shouldn't because I'm probably gonna end up dead at some point. And then this part's gonna be tricky. Not this part, but the next part. No! And I, I even rolled somehow. Uh. Did I get the Ring of Binding? I might use that if I have it. This is pretty much how painful it was in New Game, though. Like, I was trying very similar things, just trying to make something work. Yeah, four more invading is not great. Forlorn is gonna kill me if I, like, watch. Watch what Forlorn does. Oh, he didn't do it. I missed the, did I hit the thing? Oh my God, you'd be kidding me. I missed the switch. I thought I stepped on it. I'm trying to think of what else is going to be worse than this, though. Like, I don't think there's going to be much worse than this part. Can't do we able to walk Izashi with another dagger? The katana. Wait, hang on. I gotta, let, me, let me climb the ladder and I can read that. Found it out. You can't do a wheel to Wakazashi with another dagger. You can only do a wheel to Wakazashi with another Wakazashi and a katana. Yep. Because it gives you a katana moveset. The Wakazashi actually made me like the katana power stance moveset because of the... I think I dual wielded rivers and... The Dragon Scale Blade. And the Uchi, actually, prior to that. And I, I wasn't a fan of the Power Stance moveset. Alright, so this part's gonna suck. Oh, oh, dude, if I, I have Yearn, I need to put Yearn on. It might work here, actually. I don't know why I didn't even think about that. So my... Th I did not want to fall in there. I didn't realize it was going to be an instant kill, too, but it kind of makes sense. I don't think you can really get out of that. Let me try urine. Let's see how this does here. Forlorn's your final response, Scyther Sword. Okay, I'll probably flip it like like 
you know, if, we, if I roll it, I'll just flip, uh, like a coin, essentially. How do we do this? Where do I shoot this? I don't even have to consider it work. Is that gonna work? They don't aggro to it. But yeah, I'll probably just like flip a coin. I'll just I'll just call it forlorn run and then I'll flip a coin as to which weapon we get. So that'll be the next run, right? After the cane sword is done. Alright, let's get a party going here and then. See ya. Got that guy. That's easy. We might actually be good now. Like the the next this part's kind of easy. We pretty much just get the fire to kill all of these guys. Helm. Oh, I didn't even see him. Didn't die, wow. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna effigy now. If that were easier to pull off, too, like, I don't think this would be a bad soul for him. Oh, I didn't see him, dude. Is he dead? guy we get a draw out of here. I don't really know how far I need to take him out. But this feels fine. Now we just gotta run. And then once I get to the bonfire, I gotta grab the DLC key. He's got an Elium Loy Sword at the character creation and a randomized item run. I never used that sword. There's a lot of weapons I've been using in this game, though, to be fair. Which is why I like doing these runs so much, because then I get to use so many cool things. And then sometimes you get ladle runs. <laughs> but they're, they're fun in their own way, you know? Because the run's like super challenging. Most runs aren't super challenging, but that's okay. They're fun. All right, we're going. We got the key, so we can go here. Healing effect works in co-op. So if you try and hit the host, oh really? That's interesting. But it heals you on hit, basically. Forty-seven repair powder. We still gotta get through one, two, I think five more bosses. But I have ninety-nine in the bank, so I think we'll be good, unless I like die a million times. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh yeah, I can do urine here too. So I have to fight this guy. Heals the other person. Oh, okay. That's weird.
And I don't have the feather on, do I? I'm just gonna keep trying to use it. If I die, I could die. Losing your sanity from farming the metals. Yeah, it's a rough farm, but hey, once it's done, it's done. Um, what are we doing here? We need to get rid of that. We'll put on... Not that. Do resonant weapon. Oh, it's two slots. Let's not do that. We'll do this, and then we'll do... I guess this. Sun and light metal is your final farm. Yeah, so you're, you're almost there. I mean... Definitely over well past a halfway point, right? With everything, anyway. Like 90% of the way done. Alright, this fight's probably gonna take a while. Start with sunlight blade. Forty two around here is like the magic number, it feels like. A lot of downtime in this fight. Yeah, it's not as bad, but that's because of Sunlight Blade. It would be bad if not for Sunlight Blade. It'd be like smelted demon damage, like 20. Like these buffs add so much damage. I think especially in these fights because, uh, you know, these bosses are fire resistant. There, that's that's the normal damage. I feel like the majority of that is from the ring of blades. You only get one cast, yeah. Fire infusion is gonna be good in the ice and poison DLC. Yeah. I think it's going to be not great versus Gang Squad, though, but ugh, I'm not looking forward to that fight. I burn normally like when I do that fight, I burn through like 50 life gems. I don't know how we're going to do that one. Bring a restoration, maybe just like turtle it. I will have this armor set, though. A lot is going to be pretty rough, too. Pumping attunement would be better. I I agree, honestly. I don't think I really need stamina that much. Vitality, I think, would be okay, because we're going to be using some pretty heavy armor sets, but... Like, more health isn't going to help. I don't need more strength or dex. I don't need more interfaith. So it's pretty much just attunement and vitality. For better stamina regen. I also can't let these break. That's like the other important thing. What is a ladle scale with? Literally nothing. There's no scaling on it. Unless you go mundane or endurance. Not endurance. Uh, enchanted. Enchanted will give it in space scaling. And then mundane just makes it scale with the lowest stat you have. 
That's why everyone goes mundane, because there's literally no other way to make the damage better. Except for Enchanted, I guess, but it's not better than mundane. Probably not better than mundane. Does Raw... I don't think Raw's... Oh, I guess it, it would improve the damage, yeah, you're not, you're not wrong. But it doesn't give it a scaling. But it would be better than, like, normal... Uh, like a normal, whatchamacallit, ladle, I think. Doing the swipe as the second attack. What the hell? I'm just always worried about falling into this pit. Put your summon sign in front of twin princes. Open for the bass. I would, I would, I, as mind-numbing as it is to farm Lothric Knights, like, I would just keep doing that. I think one of the things about, like, Covenants and stuff like that is a lot of them, like, especially something like that, trying to get rewards, are, like, just not thought out for, like, the longevity of the game. Because it's not like people are going to be playing Dark Souls 3 forever. And they did the same thing with Demon Souls, um, where, like, you... You have the Xanthus Crown that you can only get by invading um, another player's world and killing them. But, like you have to, you have to be summoned as the uh, old monk boss. But you can't get that because the servers are offline. Like in the old version, I mean. Okay, don't, 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 don't attack. Prepare. Got six or seven sunlights when farming Ember Souls. Yeah. Just look at it. Look at it as an ember farm, and maybe then you'll get your um, your uh, sunlight medals. You have ninety nine. They can never have enough. You can put him in the bank. Got 20 chunks? You got more chunks to get then. You know what? You can only you don't need to do it all at once either. You can like take your time with it. I mean, are you in a rush to get all achievements? Yeah, that's smart to, to sell the, the shards. It's like, how many weapons are you going to really use, you know? Fire to brace shackles were bad. That's the, uh, the guys in the catacombs, right? The Karthus, I don't know what they're called, skeletons. Yeah, those guys are rough to fight.
back down to 21. That's like a 50% damage drop, dude. It's brutal. Trust a game changer, they really are. Like, it's only 10 more damage, but <laughs> it's 50% more damage. Oh my god, I hate that attack. The hitbox just lingers for so long. These buffs out, they last a long time, too. Which is really nice. This buff's still on. Can I take the decision to use a scythe? Sure. Yeah, the run will probably be next week, because I don't think I'm going to finish the cane sword until, like, at least the end of this week. But then we'll do the, uh, Forlorn Scythe. Scythe of the Forlorn. Stop. Alright, I got a buff again. Let's do Dark Weapon, I think. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's better. It's a little better than the magic buff. What? In what world does that hit? It wasn't even near that. Don't roll off. Oh my god. Life flashed before my eyes. See anything? <laughs> Stupid fog. Alright, yeah, I got a buff. Oh, well, now he does a laser. Oh, 
now he okay well I'm amazed that like he actually like moved I don't think he really moved anywhere though because he just kind of went in the same spot like that's the first time we've been here for how long it was the first time he went under Maybe he's a little closer, I don't know. Stop it! I... Stop it, dude! Come on. Just heal. Oh my god, am I gonna die? I thought I was gonna get killed by a lingering hitbox. I think he's closer than we know. I don't, I don't know how that happened. It did not mean to use a flask. That's all right. I was a little close. I guess we're still not done, technically. Can I get a laser? Ugh. That's stressful. Can I level twice? I can't. Sick. Finally, I know. <laughs> uh. All right. Just get, we're gonna get this first bonfire, and then uh, I think I'll do one more hour of DS2, and then hop over to Elden Ring. I think we'll do Prowling Magus and we'll try and do Freya, too. I don't think Freya will be that bad. I'm just gonna have a torch on the entire time. Fifteen medals? Is that what you need? How many do you need? I can't remember. Need thirty? Back to Majula, get some more tunements, and then we'll go back to Brightstone Cove. So we just need to do Freya. Oh, we gotta do the other Freya fight too, right? The, the one before Prowling Magus. Then we have to do Sinner and Ruin Sentinels. Ruin Sentinels, I, I'm not like as concerned with as Sinner. Sinner is gonna be really bad. But then we just have to get to Drang Lake, and then we have as much repair powder as we need. Um, where are we going here? This fight... I don't know. I don't know what to expect here. Chanted Moonlight Greatsword. The infusion turns the damage from pure magic to pure physical. Nullifies the range attack damage. Nullifies the ranged attack damage. What does that mean? Ow. That almost... Okay, never mind. Didn't hit me. Probably need to kill this guy, though. Maybe knock him off. The ra Oh, the ranged attack does zero damage. Oh, I see what you're saying. That sucks. I guess it really depends on how you want to play it, though, right? If you want to... If you're not doing the ranged attack, then it doesn't matter. But if you are, it kind of sucks. The regular attack's better, though. I think... I'm trying to remember what I did for on mine. 
I don't remember what I inf I think I just did the regular infusion. I think I rolled a regular infusion on that. I do think it's kind of cool, though, that you can turn it all into physical with, uh... Enchanted. I wish I had yearned for this part. Do I have skulls? I wish they have a bunch of skulls. Da what? what the hell's that? Alright, give me a skull. Toss those over there so they go out of the way. Fly fighter. Oh, she comes back. Oh, she does it three times. Does she do it four? No, just three. All right, guys. Uh, well, I was not where I meant to throw that. I guess we're just gonna do the boss. I'm not gonna worry about Freya. Get those out of there. So as long as we don't hit the, um, the priests or whatever, like, they won't heal anything. And then you can just, like, stunlock them, so. Just gotta kill everything else first. Hopefully not die. Because they just start... Oh, boy. Oh, I should buff, too. Duh. Hang on. Hang on. The lightning will hurt. This actually isn't, like, horrible damage, though. be the one thing lightning armor resistance would like light armor with lightning resistance would be good for honestly I don't know what else it'd be good for these guys just do a surprising amount of damage okay they're not healing anything I feel like I'm not healing at all with these light gems I might be dead here. Oh my god. Close. Hey, Weldon. How are you doing? Tis I. And you. Okay, please stop. Do I need to buff again? You were doing? Hell yeah. Oh! Dude, the piano's going crazy in the background. This music. Goodbye to those things. Can I hit these guys? I can. That's good. I'm about to health episode so bad last week. I almost got put in grippy sock jail and that's put me medication. Well, I hope you're feeling better now.
goodbye to all my life gems, my god. Wow, the congregation's not even half dead. That's, uh, that's rough. Yikes. Alright, let's go magic weapon, I guess. I don't think backstabs are honestly worth it here. You just realize what weapons I'm using? Yeah. Why did I do this to myself? I didn't pick it. I did put it on the list, though. That, that is my bad. Honestly, though, the worst thing I did with this is not allowing myself to use whatever infusion I want. I'm deciding to roll randomly. I need to stop him from healing. I also need to not die. Don't you do it. Don't do it. All right, that should be easy. It's like fighting the Crystallians in Elden Ring. You hit them once, they, st <laughs> they st just get stunned. Well, I gotta watch out for my stamina because that's gonna go down and then spam L1. Oh, we're fine. They can't even get an attack in. I do have to, uh, if they break, that, that could be a problem, but I think we'll be okay. You got this cock? Don't cheer for them.
Bum bum. Evil Empire wins. Uh, do we need to get any? I don't know if, like, actually, maybe I can get uh, some radiance or something. The L2 at the end, yeah. Like playing the drums. Boom, boom. Where are the radiants? Maybe they're after uh, Drang Lake or something, or once you hit Drang Lake. Get more of these. Does Chloeanne have anything useful? Ascetic! Might be useful for something later. Only has one, though, unfortunately. Visit me. Uh, Malin. Got some armor. I want the smelter set. I don't know what I want the smelter set for, though. Like, all the fire bosses, like, we just beat them, so I don't. I could. I don't know. I need to buy, like, random stuff from his shop. 12k. Let's buy all of them. Thanks for it. He doesn't have anything new. Do I have to rest? Maybe I have to rest. Maybe I need to spend more. I don't know. I don't know. I need to get, I think, Smelter set from him, and then... What's the other one I wanted? Throne Watcher, which I can't get, obviously, until, like, the end of the game. They're near the end. 